Introducing Professor Max Trinity's Trickle Up Global Economics. What is the global economy? Let's take a look at the big picture view. First, according to Max Trinity, the structure we call the economy here on planet Earth is a human system designed by humans to share, access, and deliver resources in service to human needs and human desires. Second, according to Max Trinity, and you may agree, all humans have human needs and human desires. This fact alone should be the basis of any global economic system. Because the fact is, we are all human. The fact is, we are all human. Our economy is broken. Our economy is in total dysfunction. The current economic system is not meeting the needs of nearly 90% of the human we. Needs must be filled before desires can be realized. As a result of the current economic system, the whole human we is not realizing the deepest desires of every human heart. Deep inside, we all desire to thrive together in peace and equality, in freedom and love. These desires are totally blocked by the present economic system. By only meeting the needs of about 10% of the human we, the present economic system has been top-heavy and out of balance. We're witnessing the collapse of a system that has been out of balance for thousands of years. The imbalance began thousands of years ago when we first turned home and food into commodities to buy and sell. In those specific moments of our shared history, we took human survival needs and turned them into a privilege for the privileged few who could get enough money to have food for every day and to buy a house. All humans need food every day, without exception, or we will die. All humans need a home, without exception, or we will wither and die. When we humans started land owning, we started land lording. And when we started food owning, we started political starvation and food prostitution. We laid the foundation for a worldwide monopoly game of the privileged few and set the stage for the greedics. A greedict is one who is addicted to the idea that monetary wealth equals social status and power. Also, one who is addicted to acquiring more and more and more just to acquire. One who is addicted to greed. The great monopoly game ends when one player has the most property and the most money and all the rest of the players are broke. Or, 
when the losers walk away from the game. The losers can end the game. We've evolved into a mass addicted state of greedics who are addicted to acquisition and status and enablers who are slaving away at jobs and sacrificing personal life and health to support the habits of the greed addicts. Like any other enabler addict relationship, the game ends when the enabler walks away. If we continue in this game, it will end with the death of us all because we are influenced on every level by each other and the quality of life for the whole human we is only as good as the quality of life for each individual human. We are dying. The whole human we is dying from the self-destructive forces of mass addiction and we are running out of time. The signs of our impending death are everywhere. We are at the edge. What will we do? What will we do? We'll change our thinking and come to new agreements will create a peaceful revolution and a new economic system that meets the needs of all humans. One that lays the foundation for the human we to thrive and create what we all truly desire. To live on this earth together in peace and equality, in freedom and love, to be friends on the earth and of the earth, not just to exist and survive, but to live and thrive. We'll make it. We'll do it. We'll figure it out and find our way because that's what we humans do. Watch for upcoming segments of Max Trinity's Trickle Up Global Economics for details of the new economy and how we'll get there. We will get there. Peace to you, my friend. Till we meet again.